Hey everybody, this is Cups bringing you another Monster Hunter World video today. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the new Dante set that just came out. I've been uh, farming it for about the last hour or so. And it's a charge blade set. Uh, I got it all put together. And it's actually a set that goes really well together. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the pieces of gear that come with it. Um, Dante's sword here. It's okay. It's got decent attack. Uh, it's got zero affinity. I put the affinity augment on it. The thunder elements doesn't really do all that much. But overall, just for the coolness factor. It's got two level one slots and impact file, which is good. It does an okay amount of damage. But basically, basically, it's just it's Dante's cool weapon. So let's go ahead and uh, so let's go ahead and use it. So and it's also got Dante's hair, which has got some weakness exploit crit eye on it. It's got a level one slot. This one's got a level three slot with evade window and crit eye. This one's got um, level three slot with evade window and special ammo boost. The belt has three as well. Wait, are these two? These might be two. I think these are level three actually. Yeah, I'm not seeing these wrong. Yeah, these are level two. <laughs> but uh, the belt, evade window and latent power. And then the pants, which I think are probably the best thing out of the entire set, is the um, the double level weakness exploit and pants with two level one slots. And as you can see, the defense is good. I haven't even upgraded or augmented the, the gear yet or anything like that. It's at uh, 15 fire, 15 thunder, 15 dragon. So good for a lot of the late game stuff. But uh, I also went ahead and made some different, um, a, a build of my own. By putting you know the decorations and stuff like that on so this build has attack boost four crit eye three weakness exploit three artillery three evade window that already comes on the set um, makes it really good for moving around with the charge blade i put maximum might on there as well just to get the extra levels of uh, of crit on there um and you can also replace this with focus which might be good if you're used to playing with focus which i usually am but i'm, I'm kind of playing around with maximum might or focus the one level of latent power that comes with the gear, capacity boost, and the special ammo boost that comes with it. But overall, it's a very good set that uh, I've already fought, like Temper Teostra and um, Temper Volazak. It'll still let you tackle out of the late game monsters. It's not entirely optimal, but it's uh, it's really good, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and the animations for Dante's Sword are just really cool. So we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these animations before I call it off, uh, before I finish the video here. Decent damage. Good, good crit. It's got a really long set of blue, which is great. Because you'll burn through sharpness pretty quickly. So you see the sword glows red and it kind of glows in your hand. It's pretty nice. This animation is really cool. Got like some runes on top, on top of the sword. And then here's the uh, super amped elemental discharge. Very cool stuff. And see, decent damage, 296, about 70 damage per file. Sometimes can get up to 80 or so, but uh, that was just the build that I wanted to show for you guys. If you want any other builds or anything like that, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And you can always touch, uh, catch me streaming daily at twitch.tv slash Thank you so much and have a great day.